Yo, this is Recap Raps. We're about to get you caught up on The Flash Seasons 1 and 2. It's gonna be fast, so try to keep up. Here we go! To understand what I'm about to say, believe in the impossible. A nerdy little slugger becomes speedy and unstoppable. Overcomes a trauma that's so visceral and sad, man. It's like a melodrama just got physical with Batman. Only difference is the dad's alive in prison. Framed for a murder that a yellow blur committed. Barry's taken in by Joe, one of CCPD's finest. And his finer daughter, Iris. Barry loves her, unrequited. Crazy storm from the particle accelerator. Barry struck by lightning and awakens nine months later. At a quaint and quirky lab where they lock the front doors. From a young hot nerd. It's CW, of course. Wells, Kate, and Cisco, each a special kind of genius. There'll be miracles of science, mainly just out of convenience. There you have it, Star Labs doing science with discretion. As we continue on, you may have a couple questions. Will Barry find his inner strength as superheroes do? Will Barry find and kill the man who's in the yellow suit? Will Barry finally say that he loves Iris? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out over 22 more episodes. An ordinary guy, forensic like CSI, and he's the fastest man alive. That's Barry Allen. Run so fast and possibly, no one else has got the speed. That's why they call him the... Flash, not the only one affected by the tempest. Man, the quantity of metas in this radius is endless. Faded vapor, electricity, and telepathic mammals. Well, some are simply psycho. More specifically, Mark Hamill. Central cities and a ton of shit on a weekly basis. Which doesn't seem like fun. It is when Cisco gets to name it. You got Weather Wizard, Captain Cold, Heat Wave. I wanna try Rainbow Raider. Really, dude? Well, I kinda like it. Not everyone turned evil, though. Some simply changed. Ronnie here got fire hands in Victor Garber's brain. He's a troubled meta-human and his life is full of sorrow. I could delve a little deeper, but I'll save it for tomorrow. Now, it ain't all superhero things and scientific gibberish. Real human stories about family and relationships. Relationships. Barry making new friends, going out on dates, while secretly he's crushing on his own adopted sister. Wait, but his main objective is the yellow-suited villain. They race a couple times, and my god, he almost kills him. But with the help of Wells, they can beat him. Shouldn't be that hard. But Wells is from the future, and his real name is Eobar Thawne. Barry's opposite, an evil speed demon, aka in reverse flash. Where's Cisco when you need him? Iris is around, she's mostly cavorting with some hot cop Eddie Thawne. Wow, that's important. Barry gets a chance to rewrite his family's history, which could result in death <gasps> or a singularity. But he chooses not to do it, and he sees his mother die. What? I'm not crying. I Sadness in my eye. Barry fights with Dawn, but he needs a quick assist. So when he kills himself and Dawn ceases to exist. Singularity tornado, certain death is even closer. Barry gets a bit of that. Ah, season's over. Will we find out where and when that silver helmet came from? Will the Barry Iris thing ironically bang on the same drum? Will we see more crossovers across the CW? All of this and more as we time jump to season two. An ordinary guy, forensic like CSI, and he's the fastest man alive. That's Barry Allen. Once he has it, possibly. Super advanced technology Then he can become the Flash save the day, but at Firestorm's expense All the citizens are grateful, only Caitlyn is depressed But Jay Garrick from another world is here to join the lot Although no one wants to trust him, Caitlyn helps him Cause he's hot Putting differences aside, there's a bigger threat to fight Causing crisis on two words, you could call it Truth crisis Simultaneous realities in parallel places Where their statuses are different, but they have the same faces Jazzy Joe, Scary Barry, Kate shooting ice Cisco has his powers, but he gives up Tushy vibes There's a parallel Wells who is different from the rest Cause he's basically the same, so it's like he never left Well jump across dimensions, they're still rescuing the city From a talking running shark and anti-holiday Committee. There's a whole string of that crossing Flash and Arrow's world. They probably get less drama crossing Gossip Girl and Gilmore Girls. Burn, but in spite of this, a darker prison snow. Dimension hopping villain that is aptly known as Snow. So obviously evil with that voice and suit of gray. He's a murderer, a monster, and holy shit, it's Jay. So back at Star Labs, there is love inside the building. Wells and Weston Allen all have family reunions. For the time being, all is well and nothing's bad. So Zoom comes in the room and straight up murders Barry's dad. Time for the finale. A race should be enough. And Barry wins because uh, time travel stuff. Everybody's safe. Free the prisoner in the mask. It's an old timey flash. With the face of Barry's dad Sending Barry in a spin Just as he was getting better He and Iris talk about it But they still don't get together Barry runs back in time Stops Thaw and saves his mother It's a Flashpoint paradox Your timeline, motherfuckers That's everything that's happened on The Flash so far Now you ready for season three? This is Recap Rex And we'll see you next time That's why they call him